Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip for navigation in the backcountry. When we normally think of navigating in the backcountry, like when we're hiking or backpacking, we generally think of a map and a compass. And the most common method is called triangulation. Now broadly, using a map and compass and taking bearings and putting them on a map to find our location, broadly that is known as resection. And the triangulation is the most common in that we find two features on the landscape that we can identify on the map. We will take a bearing off of each one and transfer it to our map. And where those two lines cross, that's where you're at. Triangulation. Now, if you want to get more accurate, you can find other features on the landscape that you can identify on the map and take bearings from them and start bringing all these lines together to get a fairly accurate position of where you're at. But sometimes you don't need to be that accurate. So there are some times that you can use just one bearing. You find a feature on the landscape, you take a bearing, you transfer it to the map, and it will give you your location. How does this work? It's simple. You are on a feature on the map that in and of itself is easily identifiable as a line. Now it doesn't have to be a straight line. A meandering river, for instance, Let's say that you're tromping through the woods, you come across the river, and you don't know whether to go upstream or downstream. Now, unless you are practicing intentional deviation like this video up here, you may need to know where you are along that river. Well, the river already is a bearing point for you. It may not be a straight line, but you can use it as a bearing point in a process called single line res resection or one line resection. You're going to stand alongside the river. You're going to find a feature on the landscape. You're going to identify on the map. You're going to take your bearing. You're going to transfer that bearing to the map. And where that line hits the river, that's where you be. It's that simple. Now, a river is the most obvious, but it could be the shoreline of a lake. It could be a forest service road. It could be a high power transmission line that runs through the area. Um, it could be a ridge. Any natural or man-made feature that is a, it has substantial length on the map. If there's a ridge here and another ridge here and another ridge here, you may not know which ridge you're on. But if you have one long ridge, this will tell you where on that ridge you would be. So a single line resection, again, won't work in every case, in every situation, but many times it's going to be close enough to know, for you to know exactly pretty much where you're at on the map. So this is Backpack Hat coming at you with this trail tip. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment on my videos. Be safe out there and I'll see you out on the trail.